this is an activity series demonstration. Um, activity series of metals demonstrates how uh, metals that are more easily oxidized will force another metal to accept electrons. So typically we, when we think of metals, we think of uh, substances that give up electrons easily. And both copper and iron are known to give up electrons because they're metals. But what we have in today's demonstration is a sample of iron in the form of a nail in a solution of copper sulfate. And we'll see from the experiment that iron has a higher activity than copper because iron will force copper to take its electrons, resulting in the formation of um, the ferrous ion, whereas the copper will accept electrons and become solid copper, and you'll see metallic copper appear in the reaction. The net reaction is so the net reaction is that iron will, it will, will um, accept, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one here. Uh, the net reaction is that iron will be oxidized to become the ferrous ion and the copper will become so. That's the net reaction for this. Here we have a sample of copper sulfate. This nail was placed in the solution overnight, so it was allowed to accumulate copper. If you look closely, you'll see there's a thick layer of copper on the, um, on the nail. If you come in real close, you'll see how I can wipe the copper right off the nail. And you'll see metallic copper on the, uh, and it actually eroded. You see how the nail eroded from the fact that the iron came off the nail and went into solution. So it actually eroded the nail, and there's a thick layer of copper on the outside of the nail. So the copper was reduced onto the nail, and the um, the nail went, the iron went into solution. Now, if I, I'll take, I've taken a freshly uh, sh uh, shiny nail to show you how quickly the reaction takes place. I'm going to stir the solution with the nail for only a few seconds and you see already it causes the nail to become copper coated. So clearly um, iron is higher on the activity series than copper. It will force the uh, copper to take the electrons and it will reduce onto the surface of the nail. This, this doesn't adhere just quite as well. This one hasn't had the time so you can wipe it off but you see metallic copper on the, um, on the napkin. There it is again.